Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Photoshop Tips and Tricks videos. In today's tutorial, I'm excited to share 5 amazing Photoshop tips and tricks that will take your editing skills to the next level. So, let's dive in and unlock the full potential of Photoshop together. Number 1. Changing color of the subject. To change the color of your subject quickly, create a new layer. Set its blending mode to hue. Now take the brush. Adjust the brush how you like. Pick the color you want. Now paint just on the subject you want to be painted. Remember. The difference between the hue and color modes is that the hue mode only affects on the areas that have colors. But, the color mode doesn't look for the colored areas, it just paints pixels with every color you pick. So this method works best for subjects with a background that has little or no color. Number 2. Correcting color changes in the curves tool. When you brighten or darken photos using the Curves or Levels tool. As you can see, the colors change when you do this. If you want the colors to stay exactly the same and not change, simply put the Adjustment Blending Mode on the Luminosity. So the adjustment only affects the luminance, not the colors. If the video has been helpful so far I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Number 3. Modifying Darken and Lighten Blending Modes. If you need to change the blending mode of a texture or image to one of the darken or lighten modes. For example this image of rain splash. I put it on the screen mode. Here's a simple tip to control the amount of brightness that remains in the image so you can make the rain splash more realistic. What you need to do is create a curves adjustment layer. And make a clipping mask by holding alt and clicking between the layers. Now take the midtones in the curves adjustment and make them darker until you're happy with the result. Number 4. Fixing the inside edges. I've selected this shape with the magic wand tool. And then I've masked it. It seems good. But let's check it out closely against a black background. As you can see, the inside of the edges is very harsh and sharp. What you can do is click on the shape layer. And then go to filter. Blur. Surface blur. Increase the radius and threshold. Until you notice that both the surface and inside edges are fixed. What surface blur does. It blurs only the shape's surface, not the edges. Now hit OK. Here's the before. And after. But there's still an issue. The edges are so rough. To fix that, click on the layer mask. Go to Filter. Other. Minimum. Put the radius at around 1 pixel. Now go to select and mask. Increase smooth until edges are fixed. 1 pixel is usually enough. Here's the before. And after. Number 5. Modifying the layer mask. 
I've created the shadow of the tree using the curves tool and masked the tree shape. And this is the mask I've made. What if I want to blur my mask using blur gallery? The blur gallery doesn't work on a layer mask. So what can we do? Here's the trick to fix this problem. Press and hold Alt, then click on the layer mask to view it in full screen. Press Ctrl A to select the whole canvas. Ctrl C to copy. Ctrl D to deselect. Click on the top layer. Create a new layer. Press and hold Ctrl Shift V to paste in place. Convert the new layer into Smart Object. Now go to the Blur Gallery. It's available for editing. For example, I choose Iris Blur. Press and hold Ctrl A. Ctrl C to copy your modified mask. Ctrl D to deselect. Now press and hold Alt, then click on the layer mask to view the mask in full screen again. Press and hold Ctrl Shift V to paste in place the mask you just modified. Now your mask is modified. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.